Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I uh, find stuff with LiDAR. I'm using a website called the Pennsylvania Imagery Navigator. I will put the link or URL to that site in the description so you guys can find it if you're interested in looking at it. But just to quickly show you, like you're looking at this image, it's just all woods, right? You don't see anything there. You just see trees, maybe a stream right over here where I have the mouse pointer. I see what looks like an old railroad bed right here. But watch what happens when you switch to LiDAR. So I'll pull the menu down and go to USGS LiDAR 2017. And what a difference, huh? You can see two railroad beds in this image. But what I just discovered, I never knew about this. There's a town here, or used to be a town here. How do I know that? When you zoom in, take a look. What do you see there? You see all these little boxes. They're foundations from a village or a town. And one, two. So I'm counting like 16 dwellings I see right off the bat. I don't even know what the name of this place was. I mean, because it's in the middle of nowhere. But again, it just goes to show you how useful LiDAR is when you're trying to find stuff. So now, if I was like an archaeologist or a historian or something like that, I would definitely love to come here and see if you can find any antiques, artifacts, because, yeah, there was a there was a town here. You, you could see it in the LiDAR. And it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you, I said you could see the railroad beds. What these are here, these are dirt piles, probably from mining. As you can see, they were doing some open pit mining here. So you can see all these holes that they dug in the image. Uh, so they had to, you know, put their waste material somewhere. So yeah, these are all their, their waste piles. So that's how you use LiDAR. You know, uh, if you go, like I said, if you go back to the uh, set regular satellite view, I use the 2018 statewide color. You can see there's just trees here. There's nothing else there. So this is a great tool for finding stuff. Now if we go to just regular road map. Let's see if I can do a road map here. Uh, statewide mosaic. Let me try the mosaic. I don't know what that does. Oh, that don't look too good. Statewide color 2019. I don't see anything there. Oh, there it goes. Computer's not the fastest in the world. Yeah, so this area I'm looking at is kind of like between routes 325 and to the east of it would be route 443. And uh, right over here, this is, I believe this is called Gold Mine Road. So like I said, that area is way down in here in the, uh, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to have to look it up now and see what town or village was there. That, that, that's in, that intrigued me. I never knew there was anything there at all. I said, looking at it with LiDAR. But that's how what LiDAR does. It's it's a way to find out stuff like even with the video with the coal cracker uh, last week that we did. Uh, that's how I found that tunnel using LiDAR. Now so let me see if I can find that quickly for, for you just to show you. It was in the Hamburg area. Let's see if I can get a LiDAR on that. Uh, Windsor Castle. Okay, there's Windsor Castle. Let me go to LiDAR again. And if we zoom in, what do you see? There's the tunnel. You can see clearly the south end of the tunnel right here. That big trench we were in. And then that collapse is right here where this dot is. And then here's the north end. 
and then at the end of the video here's where we were in that uh, waterway and here's that land bridge where they would have filled in to run the line this way and you can actually even see that that uh, water tunnel he was in you can actually see the collapse there from where it collapsed in so that's LiDAR and that's how you use it I hope you enjoyed my video join me again thanks have a great night